that. That is everything and all encompassing as one. That is the truth. Truth is true. Illusions are never true. And therefore this this truth of who we are is is the gift itself. It truly, truly is. It says, to be alive and not to know yourself is to believe that you are really dead. Truthfully. Truthfully. This world in which we live in is hell. It's death in form. All of the ways in which war and sin and evil and hierarchy is demonstrated here. This is death. This is war. If we're thinking we're a body, we're dead. <laughs> because that's all our body does. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything. We are the life that animates it. Our soul is the life that animates it. We are the life. We are the internal self. If we think we are anything but what we are, <laughs> we are thinking we are death. No, that's not fun, right? For what is life except to be yourself? <laughs> And what but you can be alive instead? <laughs> so funny to me now, right? <laughs> Who is the doubter? What is it he doubts? Whom does he question? Who can answer him? That's funny because all of these questions as I was driving to the talk yesterday, I'm in the car, I'm like rehearsing <laughs> whatever it is that I don't even know what I'm going to share, right? But I'm here talking, sharing truth to myself and to the world in my car, you know, practicing quote unquote for this talk. And I hear, what are you doing? Like, who is this that is talking? Like, who is this that is doubting that God is not going to be there in the moment? And I'm like, yeah. It was just this whole, yeah, you're right, <laughs> what am I doing? And I laugh it off, and I just trust God once again. And then, like, a few more times, I, I'd start rehearsing and start saying things, start talking about my story and who am I, and then I'm like, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm going to say. You know, I don't know what I'm supposed to share. You know, I don't know who's going to be there, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to get out of the way, and I'm just going to trust God. Like, it's so funny. It's so funny. Like, so, um... He merely states that he is not himself when we de when we question or when we doubt, right? He merely states that he is not himself, and therefore, being something else becomes a questioner of what that something is, right? So when we don't know ourselves as who we are, as souls, as children of God, we must question. Because right now, in like the normal state in which people are, they'll question the external world. If I'm, where's my life partner? You know, why isn't the money here? You know, um, I have to go, you know, take all these courses and all these classes for me to feel good enough to help other people. Or, you know, whatever it is our thoughts are, we are questioning the external world to seek who we are instead of going within to ask there. And, and that's okay if we don't know. Be willing and open. No one knows, right? And, and ask within. But uh, this, this doubt and this uncertainty goes away as soon as we truly truly ask what we are and receive the answer and we all do you know we all have to <laughs> um yet he could never be alive at all unless he knew the answer if he asks as if he did not know it merely shows he does not want to be the thing he is holy crap i learned this the other day like truly because I recognize the only thing that I want is God's will. I recognize the only thing I want is to remember who I am. I recognize that I all I want is to share this truth with my brothers and sisters. And um, I still ask for it. I, I, the other couple days ago, I was still asking, well, what's God's will? And then I hear this voice, you have accepted God's will. Why are you asking? You know, and it's like, oh yeah, who is it that's asking? It's the part of me that believes I am not it. It's the part of me that believes that I am not who I am. And that's just a folly. That's just a falsity of mind. And therefore you can laugh it out off because it's a joke. You know, you don't take it serious anymore because you recognize that ego is just an illusion. Right? That's quite funny. He has accepted it because he lives. Right? Me as soul. Me as child of God. Me as higher self. Whatever. Right? He has accepted it because he lives, has judged against it and denied its worth, and has decided that he does not know the only certainty by which he lives. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, thus he becomes uncertain of his life, for what it is has been denied of him. So because we ask for the things that we think that we want, a lot of the time it's denied. Right? We, we ask Again, we ask to lose weight. I want to lose weight. I want to be healthy. And then what happens? We accept the opposite 
you know, self-sabotage of some kind, instead of receiving the answers that we think that we want. And it all comes down to the fundamental question of what am I? You know, it's not like I want to lose weight. It's I want to know who I am. Once we recognize who we are, the, the actual act of trying to or wanting to lose weight becomes completely rendered useless because it is we are not a body and therefore this body doesn't lose weight if i'm going to lose weight it will because be because of the change and the shift that has happened in my mind not by what i eat or what i don't eat or what i do or what i don't do in regards to physical exercise but what it is that I see myself as. So when I see myself as a soul, I automatically listen to and relate to and communicate with and through my soul. And therefore, when this is truth, you don't, you know, work through the body. You know, that just becomes a natural extension of your soul and how you feel. And therefore, you know, we're guided naturally to eat healthy food. We are guided naturally to go to the gym. We're guided naturally to go do these things, right? It might shift up. You know, like I went from like crazy, crazy CrossFit, throwing weights around and being like completely, completely hard ass on my body, which I loved, by the way, at the time, like it was perfect, but I've more sunk into the silenceness of who I am. And therefore yoga has now kind of taken the reign of my physical activity. And I don't even look at it like that anymore. It's just what I do to be with people and shine my light even more so you know our own perceptions of our body and of our world changes as we ask the question what am I and are open to receiving the truth of that that question um says it is for the denial that you need atonement it's because of the denial of um, who we are, that we need this at one end, because as soon as we ask who we are and what we are, we recognize that we are one with all of our brothers and sisters, and we are the same, there is no difference, we are equal, and therefore through this atonement within our own minds, it extends to the minds of all of our brothers and sisters, naturally, because we share one mind, literally, literally, it's this universal consciousness that is one with God, our creator, it is literally one mind, you know. It is for this denial that you need atonement. Your denial made no change in what you are. But you have split your mind into what knows and does not know the truth. You are yourself. There is no doubt of this, and yet you doubt it. But you do not ask what part of you can really doubt yourself. It cannot really be a part of you that asks this question. For it asks of one who knows the answer. Were it part of you, certainty would be impossible. Right? So exactly what it's saying here, right? Our mind, our current mind system in which this world is run by, is split between what we are and what we think that we are. Right? It's split between what it knows and what is truth. Right? And so this ego mind creates this idea of what we think that we are based on this external world. You know, I am a mother, I am a teacher, I am a student, I am a, a lover, I am a, I am a, I am a, I am a, all these I ams that we conclude about ourselves and then based on that conclusion we run our lives. Right? If I am a person who like um, is feeling a sense of lack and, and not having enough money, you will go out there and you will seek the money to find and have that as your worthy goal. Right? But then in turn, if you ask and said, who am I? What am I? What is truth? We receive these answers in quietness and silence within our own minds, within our own selves. And it is this certainty and conviction that blows all that other shit out of the water. <laughs> you know, once we remember what we are, we are infinitely abundant, we know it, we see it, we experience it in our lives. When we remember what we are, we recognize that we are souls living in this body which is a vessel for communication to our brothers and sisters, that is all. When we remember what we are, we remember that we are the same as our brothers and sisters and therefore we talk to that God in them through the God in us. And therefore, we create that actual literal joining of one mind. This is natural. This is just who we are. This is an extension of our true selves. This perfect peace, compassion, harmony, love, kindness, forgiveness, joy. All of these things. Like, there's tools that I just listed in there, such as forgiveness and such. And yet, these are all, you know, used in this world to help us to remember what we are. 
right? Certainty would be impossible if we thought ourselves to be what we are not. And that's true. That's what we realize, right? That's why we doubt all the time. And that's why we think we're not good enough all the time. Because we lack certainty in who we are. Atonement remedies the strange idea that it is possible to doubt yourself and be unsure of what you really are. Hmm. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Like, I even had doubt up until probably, like, last week. And the doubt vanished when I looked at it and read it, realized that I was being insane. That doubt is not justified. It's not justified. Any of this stuff, anything other than love, is not justified. And we can look at it all and recognize, like, where is this coming from? You know, obviously I'm seeing myself wrongly. Obviously I'm not seeing myself as I am, so show me. And we'll have the experiences that we need to, to allow us to feel certainty within ourselves. 